Hello everybody, my name is Paul from Cryonetic. Just a quick shot tutorial here uh, regarding uh, animation export, exporting to um, Unreal Engine 4. Noticed a few things uh, regarding the FBX exporter um, in Blender to exporting to Unreal Engine 4. So I just wanted to show you guys again. The settings that I used before was selected objects, put the negative wires forward, armature and the mesh, smoothing group as the edge, and then just remove leaf bones. Okay, let's just quickly import that into Unreal Engine 4. And if we open this, it seems that animation works, everything else works, the model seems fine, its scaling seems fine. Um, but there's one thing that I realized that when you select one of the bones, so if you're going to your skeleton mode, just select any random bone, we'll use bone 2. And if you start to rotate it, you want to rotate it 90 degrees, you would have to rotate that 100 times 90 degrees to be able to rotate it 90 degrees. So the reason for that is it's just that uh, the FBX exporter is still not 100% working. So um, I'm just going to show you quickly how to fix that. So first of all, let's go into our scene properties over here. And we're going to change those two. We're going to leave them as is. We're just going to change the scale to 0 0.01. Now I got this value from the Unreal Twitch broadcast that I had earlier regarding Blender. I'll keep a, or I'll put a link down, down below so you guys can check that out. So you'll notice now that it did change the value as well of your model because now all of a sudden it's only 10 centimeters tall. So we need to scale this 100 times. I'm just going to set my clipping distance a little bit higher. So I'm going to a little bit further and I'm just going to, as is, directly export this test number two. Now, a few things that I noticed that just quickly going to bring up is that. The forward seems to not be negative Y anymore, it seems to now just be Y as the forward. I'm going to leave it as the negative Y because I want to do a comparison between the models. But uh, that seems to be another setting that they have changed. So, But um, all in all, these ones don't really matter. As long as you're happy with your model, just make, always make sure that the Z is set to up. Okay, I'm going to export that to number 2. Let's go to Unreal, that one, import number two, and let's do the same thing. See, it is still broken. Now, I did this intentionally just to show you guys a problem that you have actually with Unreal or with Blender specifically regarding scaling. Now, if you select your model, you'll see that the scaling value seems to be fine. But if you select the armature, because we scaled it 100 times, the armature has been scaled 100 times. So all, all, all these settings that we changed on the right over here didn't matter at all because the armature scaled itself 100 times. Now, a way to fix this is to select your model and your armature, push Control A, and then the rotation and scale settings. This just applies the rotation and, and, and rotation and scale, and um, then it changes that to the one option over there, so that the model actually accepts that current scale value is exactly one one one, which means that uh, it's at its um, original size basically. So if we export that, and we'll go back into Unreal. Open it quickly. Go to the skeleton. Like bone number two. And there we go. Voila. It rotates properly. Now the reason why this is very misleading is that this is the first one we made. Okay, so we're going to put them in a nice row over here. This is the second one we made. 
and this is the third one we made. That if you push play, the animations are identical. It's only regarding the bone um, rotation inside Unreal specifically. So the problem that you will have when you're trying to um, create the animation for the Unreal skeleton is basically that if you want to change any settings, like maybe move the bone to a different location, it will not work. The animation won't even read correctly if you already make it if you make it for the um, Unreal specific character. So um, regarding exporting directly from Blender, there seems to be no issues. The only issues will come is if you want to basically add an animation for a predefined character. Then you'll get scaling issues. The animations will point into different directions. And that will cause significant problems. I will cover um, that a little bit better as I am going to start another tutorial series with, with regards to um, doing animations for the current Unreal um, mannequin character, basically. And uh, once I've done that, I'll upload it and then I'll also just uh, do a tutorial like this again where I can show you guys basically what other problems you might run into. All right, that's enough of me rambling. So um, I hope you guys like what you saw. I hope it was useful. If you did like it, leave a like. If you didn't like it, don't leave a like. Um, share the video if you want. Please subscribe to the channel. And I will see all of you in the next video. Thank you all very much for watching. Bye-bye.